Okay. Hey there. It's, it's been a while since uh, I have posted. So here it is. The long-awaited episode three of the M48 Latin Town. info on the kit. Okay, today's uh, episode is about dry brushing and uh, how we do that to achieve wonderful effects and realism. But um, this is uh, working on the the tracks of the uh, tank. So you start out with these um, rubbery black things that are flexible actually pretty good you just leave them but if you want to paint them you do this so at this point I have already based out the tracks with um, some brown uh, to simulate um, rusted metal this is the brush uh, I use. It's a flat um, artist brush. Not too expensive. And uh, don't forget the thinner for the acrylic paints that we'll be using for this. And for the silver or the lighter parts that I'll be applying, I use those two. Red brown was the uh, the base for the tracks, uh, mixed in with a little oop, Vallejo, Vallejo cavalry brown. Yes, so uh, <laughs> mix two different brands together, Ooh. and. I'm going to be using some texture as well for this um, this effect. So that's that. Picked up a bottle of this stuff as well. So uh, yeah, time to play, guys. Okay. <laughs> So getting into this, uh, just um, after you've, like I said, sprayed out the whole thing brown, I'm going in there now with a, um, as the name implies, a dry brush and painting those two silvers, either the, the chrome, the bright or the darker metallic gray. Um, I kind of mix them straight out of the jar. They're um, not diluted at all. And uh, so if you can imagine, we are um, painting the metallic parts that have worn through the rust. Does that make sense? Um, over time, right? The road wheels, I guess, as they're scraping along the inside of the tracks, they'll uh, wear it down back to the metal and where it doesn't touch it will be brown rust so um, that's the theory anyway I'm using this flat side of the brush with uh, not too much paint so it doesn't get everywhere I'm trying carefully just to hit the raised parts the um, little teeth grips, I guess you'd call them. So, and uh, these are, uh, I guess, some parts that go between the road wheels and metal metallic as well. Uh, they are metal, and I guess, and um, yeah, just kind of take a little bit on the end of your brush and click, 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 click. Just like that. Looks easy, because it is. So take your time. Um, 
it uh, builds up. Uh, you don't have to do it all at once. Work on other parts, like the parts that go through the sprockets, I suppose, will get worn down as well. So give them just a little tick of silver. And um, some aging techniques. Making them look real. Because things that are real, they rust because they're metal. <laughs> I'm going to make this one a short video um, because it's just more fun. Anyway. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done now with that. So, as always, don't forget to clean out your brush. And using that uh, thinner. Okay, okay, okay. Enough already. M48 A2 Patent Tank Build. Episode 3 is in the can. <laughs> um, and I promise... The next episode is going to come a little bit faster, and uh, we're going to talk about some washes, toning. Oh, so exciting. All right, take care. <laughs>